the next couple of minutes we're going to discuss uh, propeller slip and we're going to begin our discussion by looking at a simple nut and bolt so if I have this nut and it's on this left hand threaded bolt when the nut turns it goes up along the bolt and the distance it travels is related to the to the pitch so if I have a bolt that has let's say a pitch of 1.5 millimeters well that means that when the nut does one full revolution it will travel forward 1.5 millimeters so let's have a look at it over here so here's our bolt again and we're going to assume it has a diameter of, of 10 millimeters and the pitch is 1.5 millimeters so when the bolt or sorry when the nut travels one full revolution well one full revolution that distance is the circumference of the bolt which is 2 pi r or 2 times r is the diameter so pi times the diameter the diameter is 10 millimeters so it is 10 pi which is 31.41 and millimeters so when the nut travels 31.41 millimeters in this direction there it is there it will actually move forward 1.5 millimeters the pitch distance so if I have these two values then I can work out the angle um, beta here because we can say then that beta is the inverse tan of uh, opposite over adjacent and when we put those values in we get 2.7 degrees okay so that's what it is for uh, for a nut and bolt how does this relate to uh, an aircraft propeller well if I have the pitch angle here I can see how that relates to propeller blade angle or propeller pitch angle and the propeller has a radius so when it does one full revolution it will travel 2 pi r so it will travel that distance 2 pi r so just like the bolt uh, we have beta we have this blade angle because when you buy a propeller it'll, it'll be a 12 degree propeller or a 14 degree propeller so you will know what the blade angle is uh, we'll know what the radius of the propeller is so we can get our 2 pi r and if we have both of these values then we can work out what the pitch is and we call that distance the geometric pitch so this is the distance that if we did one theoretically if we did one full revolution how far forward the propeller would move so we can see then that the tan of the angle is the opposite, which is geometric pitch over the adjacent, which is 2 pi r. Or we can rearrange that and say 2 pi r tan of the blade angle is equal to the geometric pitch. So just to recap on that, the geometric pitch is the theoretical distance the propeller would move forward in one revolution. And we can calculate it by 2 pi r tan beta. So if we have a, a propeller blade, as it rotates, it's going to move forward in that sort of shape. And that distance is our geometric pitch. Okay, which relates here to this, this red line. Okay. Okay, but we know that the aircraft doesn't go forward that, that distance. Because when the propeller is rotating, the aircraft has moved forward at this velocity so this distance if you like and that gives us a relative airflow and we get an angle of attack between the blade cord line and the relative airflow and we introduce a new angle now this angle in here and this is called the helix angle or the angle of advance so we can work out then 
if we have uh, this angle, we can work out what the effect of pitch is. And is that the actual distance that the propeller will move forward. And it will be a lot less. So if we're following this angle here, you can see that the helix angle is smaller than the blade angle. So it's not going to go as forward as as much. So the pitch is not going to be as, as, as great. So the effective pitch is the actual distance the propeller will move forward in one revolution. And it can be calculated as 2 pi r tan phi, this distance here. The difference between geometric pitch and effective pitch, this distance here is called slip. And it relates to the angle of attack, really. So uh, let's look at the definition of slip. Slip is the difference be between geometric pitch and effective pitch. And it's normally um, presented as a, as a percentage. So let's have a look at a, at a little, little example. So let's assume we have a propeller and the distance or the radius out to the master station is 1.2 meters. At the master station it has an angle of 14 degrees. Okay, so we play an angle of 14 degrees. We're going to assume the angle of attack is 4 degrees. What is the percentage slip? Okay, so the first thing is to do is to calculate the uh, geometric pitch. So geometric pitch is 2 pi r tan beta. So that's going to be 2 pi. So our radius is 1.2 meters. And we were told our blade angle was 14 degrees. So this is 14 degrees. And we get a geometric pitch of 1.88 meters. If the blade angle is 14 degrees, so if this is 14 degrees, and if we assume the angle of attack is 4 degrees, then this distance here must be the difference between the two of them. So it's 14 minus 4, which is 10 degrees. So the angle of advance is 10 degrees. Therefore, the effective pitch is 2 pi r, the tan of 10 degrees. So 2 pi 1.2 times tan of 10. That works out to be 1.33 meters. If I want to work out the slip then, it's the geometric pitch minus the effective pitch divided by the ge geometric pitch, uh, converted to a percentage. If I plug in those values, it's my 1.88 meters minus the 1.3 meters, all over 1.8 meters. And when I do that, I get 29.3%. So this propeller has a slip of 29.3%. So that is propeller slip. I hope that is of some benefit.